Naomi Suzanne from Naomi's Home Health. I'm a natural health coach and I'm ready to get you to reduce your symptoms and start feeling better. You're going to get better sleep, have better moods, more energy. Just get rid of some of the nasty symptoms that you've got and we're going to get to the root cause of why you have some health concerns. If you just want to feel healthier, you know, you want to avoid some things, natural health coach is the way to go. I know a lot about it. So what is this one thing that won't happen? <clears throat> Healing won't happen if you do not address. It is stress. Now I go on about this a lot, but I can tell by a lot of clients, people in my group, people that follow my page, particularly people in the thyroid group, <clears throat> where you're at in your stress response by how you comment or, or whatever it is. I can tell where you're at. So you know, today we normalize stress. We normalize it. We, it's even encouraged. You know, we've got to have it all. You've got to have the big boat, the house, two houses, cars, um, you know, work all the time, see your kids sometimes, you know, do everything you can for your kids, give them everything. It's so difficult and it shouldn't be normalized. It's nothing wrong with taking a step back, relaxing, you know, taking it easy. We don't have to have everything, especially if we're starting to feel unwell. So when our nervous system is, is on edge and we're overdoing it, it depletes all the other areas of our body. So what happens is our body goes into fight or flight, survival mode, and all the blood rushes to your extremities in order for you to survive and it pulls the blood away from all the organs so then what happens your body goes into stress mode again survival mode and it keeps happening so you're just put depleting your organs of essential blood flow and oxygen and nutrients and all of those things so if you so you can see if you're in that stress state that your organs aren't going to be functioning properly your immune system is not going to be working well our lymphatic system isn't going to be working our gut health is going to be poor our liver is going to be overworked then we go and we add toxins on the top of this so we're adding constantly different things whatever we're inhaling whatever we're putting on our body whatever we are using on our body that's toxic our body then has to deal with that and then there's another stress response drop it in the comments if it makes sense to you if it's starting to click because what it is if you know, I know people who are smashing the nutri nutrition, they're fantastic at nutrition or they're, or they're focusing solely on nutrition and now I'm going to take this away, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. That is a form of stress. I, you know, I know that nutrition is important, but, but when you make it a stress or when you start to worry about how much weight you've gained from having a thyroid issue or autoimmune disease or um, just from aging or menopause, whatever it is, when you start to stress about it and you start to create this pressure on yourself because you've gained weight, you're not, you may lose some weight by doing new, the nutrition path or the diet, but you possibly gain it back because you are stressed or you um, feel guilty when you eat the wrong thing or you break your diet. We're trying to chill and relax and take away the stresses in our life, addressing traumas, addressing emotional issues. Does it make sense so far? I want to know. Drop it in the comments because it's a very important issue that it's the very last one that we look at because it's too hard it's too difficult we we don't want to face those things we do want to have you know a lot of money or we do want to do a lot of things that probably aren't good for our body or we want to exercise you know to the extreme and sometimes that extreme exercise is depleting your energy sources it's kicking you into fight or flight so like i said those stress Stress increases your survival hormones and pulls the blood away from your organs. So how do you think that you're going to do anything successfully with your body if that is happening? So we need to retrain our bodies to de-stress, to calm our adrenals, um, to calm that stress response, how you react to something. Social media is the worst for it. I see it so much. Like I get attacked a lot. By people in my thyroid group and all it is is it's showing me where they are at their in their healing you know whether they're telling me something that I'm I'm talking about is wrong I mean uh, or you know 
they're talking about, oh, you're just here to take money from sick people. I'm pretty sure that's what Big Pharma does. Um, pretty sure that you, you get a, a medicine you, you for something that is a chemical that can be quite toxic to our body uh, for a long period of time. It's going to give you a side effect. You're going to get another pill for that. But yet we rely so heavily on Big Pharma to help us. Quick, give me a pill. I, I, I don't want to work on it myself. I want a pill for it. And that is why we have become so reliant because we think it's on, on the pharmaceutical companies because we think it's the quick fix. And that's not the way it is. The best way to fix it is to trust your body, trust your instincts. Your body wants to heal itself, but we just have to give it the right tools. But if we are going to be in chronic stress and overburdening our body with toxins and chemicals and all these things, or we're going to stress about how we're going to heal. Healing only comes from a place of love and acceptance. If you don't love your body, your your health, your condition, or whoops, there's no. Hang on, why why did that happen? I got this message. Sorry. Oh my. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I lost my train of thought. Yeah. If we don't recondition ourselves to do the right things for our body, you can take all the pills you want. It's it's not going to actually fix the cause. You're masking it. You're masking the symptoms with a pill. It's like if you are someone who has chronic headaches and you just keep taking paracetamol for it, you're not fixing the reason you have a cr chronic headaches. And that is what I do. I want to get to why we have issues in our body. Why is your digestion ugh, far out? Why is your digestion not working properly? Why do you have a thyroid issue? Why, you know, do you get chronic headaches? Why do you get kidney infections? All of these things. It is something that you are doing or something that's in your body. Your body's not attacking itself. Your body's trying to heal. That's where we get these symptoms. It's your body waking you up, waking you up out of the, the sleep going, hey, I'm giving you a signal and you're not listening. And popping a pill is just trying to keep your body quiet for a short period of time. Medication is beneficial in many ways, but we should not rely on it. It is not something that we should just go, right, I'm going to pop this and all will be well in my world. That's not the case. We want to not rely. My biggest thing is not relying on medication. I do not want people relying on medication. It is about you doing the work and sometimes it's not it's not even that hard it's just creating new habits improving some of the things you're already doing and creating new habits it's that simple but sometimes you need help with that and that is why people come to me to get the help they want to know what the root cause is every single person says to me that they've been going to doctors and this is why they come to me because they go down the doctor path first as i did as i did for a long time and i just kept I was actually like begging them, help me, help me, help me. And to the point where they thought I was crazy. So I just abandoned the whole medical system and did it myself. I'm not telling you to do that. It is important to find out what's going on in your body, get diagnosis, you know, get some management going on. At the same time, you can be doing something else. Integrate the two use your mind trust your body and trust in other people that can help you because it's super important if you want to feel better down the track you might use that pill that they give you and you'll be feeling all right for a while and that's fine but it doesn't mean it's going to stay that way i can tell you that right now <laughs> all the medication in the world may not ever make you feel any better whatsoever or it may be a short-term thing this is about reconditioning ourselves to reduce our stress in order to have better moods, reduce our symptoms, you know, lose weight if that's what you want to do. But we cannot do it while our body's in a chronic state of stress. Our adrenals are super important. They do a lot more than what we realize. And that flood of survival hormones causes a lot of damage in our body. Our liver has to detox it. So that's another thing that our body has to constantly work on. When we deplete 
our adrenals of adrenaline then we're going to later get a drop in energy so you there's a lot of things that give us an adrenaline rush whether it be exercise ice baths um things that make you feel fantastic for a period of time coffee but they can also a couple of hours later make you feel really rubbish so just things to be mindful of and things to think about and think about what it is you do on a daily basis what is your health ritual what do you get up and do in the morning how do you decompress how do you re stop being reactive how do you stop blaming how do you let go of control all of these things <coughs> sorry tickle in the throat this is what's important to maintaining and increasing your health okay so drop it in the comments if this makes sense to you share this post there's so many people who you don't know realize who are sick like I have friends who I would never thought of thought were sick who pull me aside and go look um, I've got I've got this issue and I'm wondering if you can help me <clears throat> there are a lot of people suffering in silence and they're suffering because they're getting no answers from anybody so you sharing this could actually benefit somebody and you don't even know it so it's really important like I said reducing the stress reconditioning our minds and our our mindset on what actually what what health is and what we actually need in life to maintain that so if you're on instagram you can book a call with me link is in my bio if you're on facebook over here michelle always puts the um, link to book with me in the comments <clears throat> if you don't need or feel like you need help share it with somebody who does because i am helping people daily there are I'm, i guarantee you everybody that comes to me gets help and they're getting practices they're getting you know i'm getting amazing feedback so this is what it's about that's my sole purpose is helping people feel better and manage their own health